Welcome everyone. Uh, special guest in the house tonight. Happy birthday, Jonathan Shapiro. Woo! So, I was fired recently. Oh. Terminated. <laughs> Laid off, as my mom has asked me to refer to it. <laughs> Being fired sucks. Now, I've had the pleasure of resigning before. Resigning is awesome. <laughs> if you want to leave your job, it's way better to resign. When you resign, there's a lot of preparation that goes into it. Kind of get a chance to clean out your office a little bit, just a day at a time, taking things home, and really wises up to what you're doing. <laughs> you also have the chance to fuck with your coworkers a little bit. <laughs> tight ass who kind of gets off on following the rules. <laughs> Maybe he uh, comes in one morning and there's a computer virus. Two stick figures is doing it on his screen. <laughs> I'm watching porn, I'm watching porn. <laughs> you have the chance to raid the supply closet. <laughs> Couple of grams of paper. I don't know, printer, sure. <laughs> Hand sanitizer. Cold and flu season, not an issue for this girl. I've got a case of whiteout in my car. I don't know what to do with it. Seriously, if anyone's in the market, you can meet me outside afterwards. But you also get the chance to look at your boss and their smug little face and tell them you're leaving. And if you're lucky, they make you a counteroffer. And if you're really lucky, they beg. I need you. I can't do this without you. I personally wouldn't survive without you. <laughs> but you're resolute. You made your decision. By the end of the meeting, they say, well, I would have respected you a hell of a lot less if you'd stayed. <laughs> <laughs> and then you prepare for what I like to refer to as the walk of fame. So you leave a god amongst mere mortals, and the crowd goes wild. <laughs> Janet's like, you go, girl, you did it. <laughs> Nancy's like, you write that novel, Haley, how'd you do it? <laughs> and Karen's like, where's all the white out? <laughs> I mentioned before, being fired, not so graceful of an exit. <laughs> you walk in like any normal Friday, just a little bit late, sure, why not? <laughs> you get summoned into the office and they say, I've got Denise from HR on the phone. <laughs> fun fact, when Denise is involved, it's not gonna be a fun conversation. Right? Uh, so, you leave the meeting feeling just about the worst you've ever felt, and you kind of shuffle back to your office, your boss looming over you, soon to be joined by the security guard. <laughs> and they hand you the box. <laughs> the firing box, that's real. <laughs> so you start packing up your office, and they're scrutinizing everything. They're like, were you wearing that blazer this morning? I don't remember seeing you in that. <laughs> oh, that, that pen there, that has the company logo on it? That stays here. We noticed uh, you brought the tuna sub from the luncheon yesterday, the lunch day. It's corporate funds, we're gonna keep that. <laughs> Taking down your pictures and they're like, are those your friends and family? <laughs> 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 and so you get your the property they deemed as yours, the sad remains of your meaningless time there. 
along with, along with the tilting plant, of course. No firing box is complete without the plant. <laughs> Didn't even have a plant in my office. <laughs> but I have one now. It's a bamboo, named for Bruce. And uh, then you prepare for what now I like to refer to as the walk of shame. And I thought, you know, that phrase I liked it better when I was a slutty co-ed leading the crime house at 8 a.m. Because now it's, uh, you know, co-workers kind of covering up their screams as we walk past. <laughs> you hear the whispers, I heard she was doing the pots. <laughs> Well, I heard the people in the pictures. She doesn't even know them. <laughs> <laughs> and Janet's like, We start at 8.30, not 8.35, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and Nance is like, I saw you eat my yogurt last week. <laughs> and Karen's like, Where's all the fucking whiteouts? <laughs> Thank you, everyone.